Hello, anyone and everyone. I am Echo, and today we're exploring Fallout 3. We're back here in Marguerite's shack uh, to try and just hand her well, off. Well, if it ain't my favorite out of towner. Yep. I'm gonna try and hand her off the uh, pung to. fruit. It's not pung fruit for you. Wild fruit, eh? <clears throat> just as good, if a slight weaker for flavor. There you go. Okay, so that's completed, and uh, we need batteries for extra kick. You best keep. All right, crap. So, unfortunately, I have to uh, have all six batteries in my inventory in order to give those to her. But I guess it'll be a little bit easier now since we've gone and freed up some inventory space from giving her the punga fruit. And uh, I think I'm going to actually, like, not pick up any more punga fruit if I can restrain myself from doing that because uh, we've got so many stim packs, I really don't need them for the healing items. And uh, where does it say the fission batteries? There you go. We've got one. Exactly one. Goddamn. Um, that's okay, though. I think I actually remember um, over... Where is it? The Trapper Shack. Yeah, the Trapper Shack. I'm going to go back here to the Trapper Shack. Because although there's a bunch of enemies around, I do remember that I think there was more fission batteries and probably some bags of yeast in that trapper shack. Oh, and also, I could actually take a look around right here, where I am now. The sinkhole. Couldn't hurt. Just in case there's anything. Wouldn't be surprised if I found, like, a single bag of yeast here, maybe. Vision battery. There you go. Got one. So there's, uh, there's two of those down. And any more? We can also probably... If I remember correctly, I think sometimes robots will drop fission batteries on death. So, uh, I'm planning on going up to that military base next. So we can probably find some more up there. Alright. Where's the enemies at? Shit. Alright, how many people did that alert? Just him? It'd be really nice if it was just him. Oh, shit, he's behind the tree. Alright. There you go, get him. I guess, unfortunately, I missed my sniper shot. Thought I was aiming at the head, but... I guess it wasn't quite good enough. Buff out. Um, yeah, we, we've got enough space. We can take one double barrel. Alright, another one over there. Uh, oh, there he is. Need to get a better angle so the bushes aren't in the way. That one was definitely in the head. There's no way it couldn't have been. Alright. Did they just step over their own mines? I didn't know they could do that. Dude, that's awesome. Holy crap. That makes this situation entirely different. Because now I can just reactivate some of these mines. Or, oh, crap. You can't reactivate them when they're on the ground, that's right. Fine. I can pick them up. And throw them back out. Leave the activated ones activated. Alright. You have anything on you, buddy? Nope. What about you? Eh. Ah, some stuff. And you? Nothing. Okay. It's just those two, actually, so... Not even that big a deal, I guess, but... Whatever, still... It's worth it for the, uh... The comedy effect, if nothing else. There you go. There's another one. And there's another one. Oh, and one more. 
There you go. That looks good. All right. Let's hop up on top of these tires. And get you. He should be running over this way. Hit a mine. There you go. At least one. There you go. Awesome. All right. I have to say, I do like using mines. They're very fun. But, unfortunately, they take up weight in the, in the inventory. A ridiculously large amount of weight. Carrying around just, like, one or two mines isn't going to make much of a difference in, uh, in your, your average, you know, combat scenario. And, uh, where's the lever action? There it is. Okay. Yeah, it's not going to make a ton of difference in your average, you know, combat scenario if you're only carrying around, like, a small handful. And, uh, if you're carrying around a lot, then it's going to take up a ton of inventory space. So it's really unfortunate that it works that way. Bear traps. I say. Oh, oh, because there's a bear trap on the table. Okay. I was looking at the mines and the same bear traps, and I was like, what the heck is that about? But okay. Alright, I don't think there's anything down in the basement. I don't think there's any other enemies around, so we don't have to keep sneaking. Though, there might be enemies in the house. So, just in case. Keep the gun out. Until we make sure there's nobody. Nope, okay, nobody. Awesome. Vision of batteries and yeast. I thought I saw some bags of yeast in here. Yeast! There's one. She needs three of those. Okay. It's a pilot light. Oh, hey. Some jet that I missed last time. Awesome. Vision battery. Now we're up to three. And <laughs> filling up that inventory. Oh boy. Can pause fishing aid be repaired at all? Because we've got a lot of double bar double barrel shotguns now. But nope, it seems not. I guess we'll have to just get rid of some. Actually, can we get rid of uh, the two frag grenades and pick up... How much do the double barrels weigh? Six. No, we can't. Okay, never mind. Oh, there's another one. Alright. Turn on the lights so we can see a bit better. There. Oh, well, here's all the yeast she needs. Except now we're over encumbered. Damn it. And another fission battery. Oh, jeez. I knew I saw some in here. Knew it. All right, what do we get rid of? Um, Old Painless can't be repaired. I already did that. Olsen's revolver, no. Reservist's rifle, sure. I did just use it a bit. All right. Oh, we're still over encumbered. God damn. All right. All right, all right. Well, Old Painless takes the hunting rifles, and as we've already... Actually, Perforator, no, can't repair that well enough. I think we can get rid of the hunting rifles, because Old Painless has full durability right now, and it's going to basically get replaced by the lever-action rifle. They take care of the exact same... Uh, uh, turn off the light, thank you. The two weapons take care of the exact same type of uh, roll. You know, both are accurate long-range weapons with kind of low damage, but high enough to kill, you know, most well, enemies ain't my with a sneak crit. And, uh, you know, uh, ammo is very common for them. So, yeah. Got the Easter. I me. see. There you go. So we got her three bags of yeast, and how many more vision batteries do we need? Vision battery, we got four, so we need two more, and I think we can probably find those two up at the Turtle Dove Detention Camp, which is the, uh, uh, 
place that we gotta go to anyway for the Velvet Curtain. Investigate Agent Yang's fate at the Turtle Dove Detention Camp. So we'll head there next, after taking a peek at the truck wreckage, which actually means we should probably... It'd probably be easier if we fast-traveled from the Ark and Dove Cathedral. Or, I mean, not fast-traveled from there. Fast-traveled to there, and then walked from there. To go northwest up to... Up to the truck wreckage, or whatever it was called. Oh, more ghouls. Alright. Take them out like that. There you go. See? Perfect. Though I do wonder, I don't actually know if the lever-action rifle is as accurate as this. Because this is, uh... The old painless, and I think regular hunting rifles as well, are, uh, somewhat unique in that they have, uh... 100% accuracy. Assuming that they are, uh... You know, not in a state of disrepair. And there is... Oh, that's turpentine, okay. Turpentine and the fission batteries look somewhat similar. Lawnmower. No, we don't need any lawnmower blades, thank you. Hey, more yeast, if we needed it. But we don't. Not anymore. Johnny Reb. Oh, it's another one of those stupid gnomes from the stupid... Oh, the thing... DC Interiors quest. Wait, is this the truck wreckage right here? That's the truck... This is an area? Why the hell is this an area worth labeling on the map? It's just a truck. It's kind of ridiculous. Don't you think? I don't know. I think so. Anyway... There is Turtle Dove Detention Camp. De detention Camp. Which should be filled with robotic sentries. Though we're not seeing any of them just yet. Yes, you discovered Turtle Dove Detention Camp. Thank you, game. And there's one right now. Awesome. Okay. So, let's sneak around. Oh, they're shooting a bunch of ghouls? Is that ghouls? Yeah, that's ghouls. Cool. I'm going to let them duke it out. Hopefully, the sentry bots win, because I don't want to have to fight a ghoul reaver. Crap. Somebody peeked me out. Oh, him! Probably him. He's probably saw me. Alright. Pop you in the head. Please die. Ah! Ah! Stop hitting me. You haven't earned the right to hit me. You're not as dangerous as the others. <laughs> Medics. Okay, and what do you have on you? Probably something I'm not going to really use. Medex. Yeah. Well, I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll use them, but don't need them. That's for sure. Alright, how's the fight going? How are our troops faring? No, oh, there's still a sentry bot over there. And he's still fighting... The, uh, a roamer. Oh. He should be able to beat the roamer easily. Let's get up here. Maybe we can get a better look out of our scope. Ooh, ammo! I will never turn down free ammo. Shit. Oops. What the hell? That's where I was turning it a second ago. There. Great, ammo I can't even use. Um, I can't see anything because the fog. Oh, dear. Okay. And all the red dots have disappeared. 
or red uh, tick markers on the compass. Alrighty then. Well, in that case, let's sneak over here slowly. Okay, it's a turret. Is the turret all that's left? Glowing one, bobby pin. Thank you. I'll take those. Glowing one, bottle cap. Regular swamp gold bottle caps. Sentry bot. Scrap metal missile, 5mm rounds. Damn it, no fission batteries. Uh oh. I might have to go somewhere else for my fission batteries. Missiles. Electron charge packs. No fission batteries. Oh dear. Hey, they killed the Reaver. Excellent. Alright, let's just take out that. Really? That's taken a while. I would have thought with the sneak crit. He'd uh, gone down in fewer shots. Dang. Oh well. Okay, so there... Everything seems dead. So I'm just gonna quick save it here, because if I accidentally alert something that I didn't see by walking around, I'm gonna want to uh, change that vision battery. Awesome. Just need one more. Stim pack. So this... Uh, this was labeled the interrogation room when we went in. We see a leather belt, a bucket, and a big, like, turbine for electrocuting the person. Jesus. It's a little overkill, don't you guys think? Two caliber rounds. Oh, oh, what? Electron charge packs. They have no weight. We'll take them. Okay. They're out here, then. Don't oh, turn off the light. Okay, what's in this room? Another interrogation room. Okay. Empty syringes. What was this, like, chemical torture or something? Jesus. God damn. Point lookout doesn't mess around. Oh, that one's all boarded up. How about this one? Is this another interrogation room? No, bunkhouse. Okay. I don't think we're going to find any fission batteries in a bunkhouse, but... Obviously, we're here for other reasons as well. Like bottle caps and pre-war money. And the quest, of course. The, the quest we're doing, of course. The very important quest. Wow, even people got killed in here. With an axe, by the look of things. It's a little messed up. Just a little. Just a wee bit. Alright. Bunkhouse A. The other one was Bunkhouse B, I presume. Stealth Boy. Nothing in there, nothing in there. Bottle caps. Sure. Alright. Conductor. A lot of weird crap these people keep in their bunkhouses. But I'll take the first aid, thanks. Ooh, lots of good stuff. Lots of good stuff that's going to take up space in my inventory. <laughs> and force me to have to clear it out to pick up the next fission battery I find. Damn it. So we're looking for uh, Agent Yang's stuff. Or maybe Agent Yang themselves or whatever. To try and find their uh to try and find something from them. What does what does the quest say again? Investigate Agent Yang's fate at the Turtle Dove Camp. Okay, so we we're finding out what happened to them. Well obviously they're dead now. Well they might have turned into a ghoul, I suppose. Hey, one more sentry bot. And no vision batteries. Damn. Oh well. That's fine. That's fine. Basement, we'll leave that... Oh, that's not just a basement, that's a morgue. Alright, we'll leave that for last. Take a look in here first. Let's take out a more appropriate weapon for the administration building. Which I fully expect to have something in here that'll try and kill us. 
Mm. Ooh, scope 44 magnum. 44 magnum rounds. Ammunition box with more 44 magnum rounds. You know, I kind of wonder how come in a military base we can find ammo boxes that are sitting right next to each other that contain the exact same kind of ammo and yet some of them are locked and some aren't. <laughs> like, I can understand not locking the uh, individual boxes if you had, like, guards around the place, but why would you... Uh, 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 sorry, I got completely distracted. I can understand not locking any of them if you've got guards around the place, and I can understand locking all of them regardless of whether or not you have guards all over the place. But why would you only lock some of them? What benefit does that give you? Like, if, if anybody comes in here to try and steal ammunition, they'll be able to steal some of it, but not all of it. But that means you're, like, counting on them stealing it, but thinking it's okay for them to steal some of it. You know? At least in the situation of not locking any of them, but you've got guards around, and the idea is they won't be able to steal it because you've got guards. But if you've taken the time to lock any of them, then that means you think that the guards aren't enough, that you are accounting for the possibility that they will steal ammo, even with guards around, but you're guaranteeing that they'll be able to steal ammo because you didn't lock all of the boxes of, ammuni of ammunition. Whatever. Again, I'm probably thinking too much into it, but okay. Alert. Suspected spy. Federal agencies have added a new person of interest to our watch list. Dr. Jiang is a Chinese national defector. Neutralization agents in Norfolk processed his defection after jumping over from a merchant ship he was stowed away on. Jiang was apparently in communication with a U.S. naval intelligence contact for some months prior. He's reportedly brokered an immunity deal in exchange for his help recovering intelligence from the downed submarine off our coast. Zhang is staying in room 1D at the Homestead Motel of the Boardwalk. We're explicitly forbidden from issuing a search warrant against this location, but are authorized to monitor his activities in public. Okay. Interrogation reports. Uh, John Doe, Submariner. Submariner, or whatever. Hunter spent another session in interrogation room B with a surviving crew member from the Chinese spy sub Navy is attempting to... to is attempting recovery on. This guy is demonstrating extraordinary fortitude for a relatively low-ranking grunt. Can't say, can't say the Chinese don't make good soldiers out of their boys. I'm sure this one would have gone the same way as his skipper if the cyanide capsule in his molar hadn't been a dud. Hunter requested a Method B interrogation clearance, so I'm putting through to Quantico for that in the morning. Air incomplete archive. Okay. Wan Zhang. Or Wan Yang. Yang succumbed after Method D interrogation during the afternoon. Medical examiner called in and verified cause of death as natural for the records. She's filed away in the morgue downstairs for now. Locker TD-0181. We're running out of space down there and may need to do a disposal, a disposal early this quarter. Okay. Wan Yang was the person who was supposed to meet up with Dr. Zhang. Camp operations reports. Escape route patrols. Brenner observed suspicious activity after lights out yesterday. Prisoners apparently snuck into morgue overnight. He had the good sense not to apprehend them before reporting the event. We've known for some time about a septic runoff access point in the basement, which would be a good candidate for escapees. The runoff flows southwest of the camp about a quarter of a mile or so. We'll keep a low profile about this and post guards in the area. They can make their break any night. Meanwhile, I'll try and find any excuse to send somebody down there and check it out without arousing suspicion. I'd rather catch them in the act. Air incomplete archive. Yep, okay, back. And intelligence dossier, Wan Yang. Bulletin, Yang capture slash transfer. Local community informants provided intelligence le leading to the capture and arrest of a priority person of interest, Wan Yang, aka Five Claw Dragon. Yang is on file with DIA as a Chinese intelligence field agent operating within America and Canada over the past decade. Yang has been transferred to Turtle Dove De Detention Camp for interrogation. Our office has so far declined comments to press and diplomats. Please have DOD relations advise regarding a public statement. Air incomplete archive again. Yep. Public release, person of interest. 
Bulletin, attention citizens of Point Lookout. Wan Yang, sus suspected communist and Chinese sympathizer, has been reported in the vicinity of Point Lookout. Agent Yang may be operating under an alias and or using a disguise. You are required to report any suspicious persons or behavior to Lieutenant Crumfold's DIA at the U.S. recruitment station located at 1811 St. Mary's Branch. <sighs> Known aliases, Jamie Patrick, Maria Lopez, Stanley Derrick, Five Claw Dragon. Okay. Photophile, Wan Yang, alias. Okay. And Intelligence File, Wan Yang, alias. Wan Yang, suspected Chinese operative, previous incarceration, incarceration 2062 in Canada, suspected in connection with Niagara sabotage. Yang escaped custody during transport to Albany, New York. Intelligence reports of Chinese activity in Maryland prompted local search efforts, which yielded an anonymous tip leading to Yang's capture and transfer to Turtle Dove Detention Camp. Demonstrates remarkable resistance to interrogation, but yielded classified, connecting the Chinese intelligence community to classified. Admin notice. File altered by intelligence officer SN blah blah blah. Okay. Alright. I believe that is all. Let's take a look at the other rooms in here real quick, then we'll head down to the morgue. Don't need that. Thank you. Oh, fission battery. We got six of them. Hell yeah. All right. And even more fission batteries and some new Coca-Cola. Okay, I'll take the new Coca-Cola because it's delicious. And uh, we'll eat some punga fruit to reduce our radiation as well as heal up. And then... Hmm... What can I get rid of? Huh. Oh, we should be wearing Paulson's hat just because the Oasis Druid Hood is damaged. I forgot that. Oopsie. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Alright. Paulson's fishing aid can't be repaired still. Nothing can be repaired. Paulson's. No. Alright. Pair this with that then, I guess. Oh, we're still... God damn. Oy vey. Alright, perforator. You get one extra damage out of the last assault rifle I have. Just because I desperately need the uh, inventory space. And there's, an, there's another assault rifle. I could replace it. But I won't. Not yet. Not yet. No, no, no. Not yet. Alright, more filing cabinets with some shotgun shells. Because filing cabinet is a good place to put ammunition. That's a tip for all you office workers out there. Oh, hey, I could take, I could take all four of these, couldn't I? Yeah. Awesome. All right, 308 rounds, 308 rounds, and a sniper rifle. I need that. Damn it. 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 More good stuff. Damn it. Damn it. Oh no, and more ammunition up there too. I can't jump. Damn it. Alright, fine. Repair Um something. Repair this with this one, I guess. And oh, crap, I I picked up more uh fine. Buff out again, I guess. I hate using the buff out though, because it's only temporary. Which means I'm just postponing the problem of not having enough uh, inventory space. Oh well, alright. To the morgue! And I guess just in case there's ghouls or something down here, I should keep crouching and keep the weapon out. Yep, there's ghouls, I knew it. Figured. Figured. Oh, really? I missed? There you go. <laughs> oh, stem pack. Yum, yum, yum. Psycho. Awesome. Okay. So, what happened to Dr. Zhang, huh? Cell door? Electrical switch. Manhole to septic tunnel access. Oh, geez. There's a whole bunch of. Pit Wait a minute. Actually, hold up a second. Are we looking for. 
Yeah, Yang. Oh, so Wan Yang. Whoops, okay. I was confused. I thought we were looking for the fate of Dr. Zhang. We're actually looking for the fate of the Chinese operative Wan Yang. Okay. Oops. I done goofed. Oh well. Um, anything else interesting in here? Nope. Okay. Got vacant, vacant remains locker. Shen Mei, open. Ooh, bobby pin and a stealth boy. Sure. Okay. Vacant, 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 vacant. A Cheng. Nothing good in there. Vacant. Wan Yang. There you go. Wan Yang's super dead. You found what's left of Agent Yang. Inspecting the remains closely, you discover a false molar tooth. There's a microfilm within that must contain the self-destruct codes for the Chinese submarine. Leave the doof alone. Remove the self-destruct codes. Alright, self-destruct codes added. Activate the Chinese submarine self-destruct protocol. Why do I want to do that anyway? I don't know. But, um... Cell door... That's a cell? What the hell? That's not a cell. That's an incinerator. Yeah. Why would it call why would they even call it a cell? That's just weird. Like obviously this is where they put the dead bodies to incinerate them, but why would it call it a cell? It's not like they trapped people in there. Unless they did, unless that's like a really horrible type of torture that they devised. Which I wouldn't put it past them after seeing the, the chemical stuff they were apparently doing in that one other interrogation room, but whatever. Alright, that's all the time I have for this episode, unfortunately, so I'm going to have to end it here. But uh, in the next episode, we'll go down into the uh, septic tunnel access and see where that leads. Because they did mention that it goes down to the southwest to a different area, probably somewhere out here. Marguerite Shack, Trash Heap. It actually probably leads to the Trash Heap, I wouldn't be surprised. Um, but w whatever, we'll see where it leads. It's easier to just go through it and find where it takes us rather than, uh, pointlessly trudge around the outs outside area to try and find the other end of it. And, uh, we'll do that in the next episode. Then we'll go and, uh, you know, bring the fission batteries back to Marguerite and try to blow up the submarine for whatever reason. I don't know why we're doing that, but hey, that's what the quest says to do, so I guess we'll do it. So yes, I will, I will see you all next time. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you continue to enjoy it. Bye-bye.